past two weeks, Jim has been suffering from headaches, low energy, and fatigue, but also feeling restless and agitated. His mind won't stop thinking, so sleep has been difficult too. Others, such as Emma, become short-tempered, impulsive, or forgetful. These are common signs of stress, and feeling stress is not uncommon among Hawaii ag producers. In an ongoing needs assessment, almost 90% of Hawaii ag producers report feeling stress, with more than third experiencing mild to moderately severe depression. That's one in three farmers or ranchers in Hawaii. Top stressors seem to be pests, finances, production, labor, and legislation, including regulation compliance and paperwork. We can lump these under uncertainty. Pests, who know what the next one will arrive to our delicate Hawaii ecosystem? For instance, the avocado lace bug showed up in 2019 on Oahu that has since spread to the other islands. For local avocado farmers hoping to increase local food production, this presented a new concern. How to manage production with this pest? And what about the little fire ants and fruit fly infestation that continue to plague local farmers, costing millions of dollars each year? Dollars. Then we're talking about finances as another uncertainty. Markets and commodity prices can move up and down like a yo-yo. Look at what happened during COVID and the disruption of the food supply chain. With the dramatic drop in revenue from restaurants and tourists, some local growers had to quickly find other ways to sell their produce or left with rotting abundance. And what's happening now? Inflation. Labor is expensive in Hawaii and good laborers are hard to find. So how do you deal with stress and uncertainty? Do you eat too much? Not eat at all? Sleep or not sleep like Jim? Yell, blame, withdraw into a hole, shut down or freeze? Or perhaps talk to a friend, vent on social media, scroll through social media, smoke, drink, hunker down and solve the immediate problem or punch out the sky? Perhaps you do a combination of all these and more. First step is to bring awareness and acknowledge that you are feeling stress and that this is common and you are not alone in feeling this. You don't need to be an isolationist and there is no shame to feeling what you are feeling. In the next episode, we will shed light on what happens to your body and mind when it's under stress. What is a stress attack? How do you know? And more importantly, how to say hello to stress so that you can manage it skillfully. These Ed Doodles are educational resources and not meant as a substitute for professional help. In the description box below is a link to the resource hub where you can find different types of professional resources, including mental health, behavioral health, in Hawaii as well as nationally and online. Please follow us on the various social media channels linked below too to keep up to date on more helpful tips and share this resource with others. If you have any specific topic or question you would like us to explore, please feel free to provide us your comment on our contact information. Mahalo for tuning in.